Hi, it's Tony Perif here with MCM Comic Con here at Leicester Square, a rainy Leicester Square for the Dad's Army premiere. Don't panic! <laughs> We're here now with some MCM Comic Con winners and some Metro winners. Um, we're going to have some questions for them until we can go. Hi, yeah, how are you? Good. So, um, what are you most looking forward to tonight? Actually seeing the film. Seeing the film, yeah. We saw yeah. some of it being filmed in Bridlington. Oh, did you? I looked in Mayers. And... All right, so are you fans of the, of the old CB series? Yeah. yeah. yeah? Favourite character, guys? Godfrey. Pike. Godfrey. Oh, I like <laughs> it. Bit of competition there. Yeah. Thank you very much. Enjoy it. No Thank worries. You. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Ask some questions, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, what are you most looking forward to about tonight? Um, Meeting the stars, to be honest. Yeah. Meeting yeah. the stars, yeah, yeah. Fans of the uh, TV series, I guess. Oh yeah. yes, yes, yeah. 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 We're going to there see the go. film tonight as well. Oh nice. So yeah, we've uh, we've got tickets to that as well. So see how different it is really compared to the uh, compared to the series. Yeah, very, so, very yeah, much yeah. so. Yeah. So favorite character, guys? It's got to be Pike. Pike, Pike, yeah. yeah. Uh, nice one. Thank you very much, guys. No worries. Right. Right. Good evening. How was it playing uh, Mrs. Mannering? Oh, it was great fun. Great fun. It was wonderful to play someone with power. Oh, because you know, I normally yeah. you know, play characters like Lynn, who yeah. oh, I love Lynn, and Lynn will never go away. She'll always be in, you know, in a cupboard somewhere, working out what she's going to do next, yeah. and worrying about her finances. But it was just wonderful to play a character who was totally in charge. Oh, and uh, yeah. it was great fun, yeah. I've done a bit of Mrs. Mannering subsequently since I've, been fil since I've finished filming. Yeah? Film, yeah. <laughs> Playing on Keep people. it on top of that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, was how was filming in East Yorkshire as well? Oh, it was wonderful, because I was born in Leeds, brought up okay. in Leeds, I was about 13, so it was really exciting. Oh, to be nice, uh, up there again and lots of lovely long walks on the cliff edge and stuff. Great scenery, it's a great, great place. Scenery. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, thank you very much for listening. For listening. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Hi, Blake, Tony Piroff um, with MCM uh, Comic Con. Um, so, you play <laughs> a private fight. How does that, uh, how is that a different contrast from the way you played in the in between? Uh, well, I suppose, I mean, the, uh, Pike is a lot softer. He's very much uh, mollycoddled by his mum, uh, and his mum's quite dominant force in his life, uh, whereas Neil's mum ran off when he was 10. So, uh, and also, Pike has a lot more of a moral compass, you know, he won't really take advantage of people, okay. yeah. or especially women, he's very respectful, whereas, uh, to the point where it becomes fearful, yeah. uh, whereas um, Neil's kind of philosophy is, if it feels good, do it. Yeah, so, yeah no, that's yeah. brilliant, that's brilliant. Yeah. So, um, how was it filming in uh, Yorkshire? Great, we had a really good laugh. Yeah? Absolutely terrible, I like... <laughs> YouTube, don't worry about okay, it. <laughs> no, no, yeah. It's so. a family show. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, how does this role differ to the role, say, you've played in other TV roles? Well, it's um, it's it's period, so you know, it's set a long time ago, um, and uh, I do, yeah, I, I mean, I always kind of play the blonde, fun bombshell, yeah. which I really love. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's different because of the time it's set. Yeah. Different costumes, obviously. Yeah, that's different it. Different hairdos. Yeah. Um, do you enjoy yeah. all that kind of thing? The different hair, the different clothes. I really love it. I've always loved dressing up. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, you look good tonight, Thank which you is so great. Much. Thank you. Um, so I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank and you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. How are you, sir? Thank, thank you. Very good. How was playing Private Fraser? Well, it, w it was as you would expect. Uh, yeah. You spend the whole time hearing the words for doom yeah. <laughs> rolling through your head, you know. Well, yeah. Because, uh, you know, that's that was obviously going to be the thing yeah. in your mind. Uh, yeah. I, I once met, I worked once with John Laurie, who, who, who played the um, private phrase so magnificently. And uh, it was at the height of the fame of, uh, of Dad's Army in the mid 70s. And, and uh, I'd, I'd love to told him, you know, yeah, that, like that you, in you've played 40 it, yeah. years' time, yeah. I might be attempting it. But my phrase, it, it doesn't have the stories, the, the little, you know how... Uh, yeah, like the subplot. He always had yeah. these lovely stories, and I don't yeah. have so many of them. So it's a different human being to some extent. But Did you find it quite... The essence is there. Yeah. Did you find it quite daunting? Like a da yeah. daunting kind of yeah. scenario? Of course, I mean, it is daunting, because yeah. all of us love Dad's Army. Yeah, the original, it, yeah. you still love it. You know, yeah. I, I've loved it since uh, seeing it first when I was uh, yeah. in, in the 60s. 
and I watched it in the early 70s. Uh, the only television I ever watched in the 70s was Dad's That's Army right. and Sergeant Bilko. Yeah, I didn't see television in the 70s. I was too busy, you know, <laughs> doing other things. <laughs> um, so uh, it, it is daunting. It is. So hopefully we pay homage to it. I don't think we'll improve on it, but if we pay homage, we'll be happy. Oh, good. So how was Yorkshire as well? No, I like this. <laughs> I mean, it's a year since we did it. I'm surprised yeah. that it's taken this length, but it was always okay. planned that it would be the beginning of 2016. All oh, right, okay. It was never, it wasn't uh, tucked away. It, it just okay. actually, this was the schedule. Yeah. So we were filming in winter oh, for right. what is allegedly Cold, summer, because yeah. oh. it's the, without being a spoiler to the story, it's in the, it's in the lead up to the D-Day landing. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, it's really meant to be summer. Summer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, thank you very Good. much. Pleasure. Hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Mark. How are you? It's Tony Perroff with MCM Comic Con. Proper, Mike. Proper. Stand up. <laughs> so, uh, what first drew you to this role? Uh, well, I, I was I, I was skeptical, to be honest. Really? Uh, I'm a huge fan of the show, and I, and I, and I, I was sent the script. I knew Hamish had written it. Uh, he's a brilliant writer. And I just I fell in love with it straight away. It's very charming it's completely in love with the original series it's it takes it on a bit it's set a bit later which i think is very interesting it's set yeah. towards the end of the war when the home guard has been disbanded i just thought it was lovely and and and, and heartwarming and very funny so i was and then i and then found out who else was in it it was amazing so, oh, so obviously filming in uh, yorkshire uh, yes. how was that for you oh well it was back to a lot of the places i used to go on holiday as a kid really bridlington oh, nice. uh, filey nice. Um, and Scarborough, um, so it was very nice. I was actually I was playing Peter Mandelson at the same time, and I had a lot of shuttling back and forth uh, overnight to Yorkshire, uh, but it was great. And it was it was cold, but it was great. I had a great time. Perth MCM Comic Con. How are you? Oh, hi, hi, how are you? Yeah, very good. How? Bit better than now than yeah. it was a few minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> so how was it playing Captain Mannering, an uh, iconic role? Yeah, I mean, like these parts. I mean, I've played daunting people before, but I suppose a daunting comic ca character is a different matter because you've got an actor who's already done it very, yeah. very, very well. We're kind of like, so you can't really compete with that. But uh, what you can do is look at the other actors and go, well, they're all going to have a go at reinterpreting. Um, and I think we all tried to extend the characters a bit in terms of the scale of the story. Yeah while honouring what those actors have created. But in a way, the script did a lot of the work for us. We didn't have to worry too much. How is this different from the other roles that you've played before? Uh, well, is, how is it different? I, I don't think I've played a lead comic no, character. Lead comic, I don't think I've played someone quite as pompous as this character. I think it'll allow <laughs> me to do a lot of slapstick, which I haven't done on film before. I've done on stage, but never done. So it allowed me to do a lot of comic stuff, which was really great fun. Oh. As long as I didn't oh. think about it too much <laughs> and worry about it. And how was working with Catherine? Listen, Catherine's the most extraordinary actress because she's very, very glamorous and represents a kind of... Obviously, she's married to like hardcore Hollywood cele uh, aristocracy. But she comes back to Britain to um, Bridlington and makes a film about a quintessential British story and she's totally game on, totally cold weather both yeah. she and I were in the North Sea together for oh. purposes of the film <laughs> and uh, and she, there was never any question of being treated differently or to, she's a fantastic actress and a fantastic person you know and on yeah you said location North Sea how was East Yorkshire well the, the people that made it very very easy to shoot there it was it's great because you can shoot period there very easily yeah. it was really cold yeah <laughs> really <laughs> cold but uh, Wherever we went, you know, people wanted to be part of it, so it was, that was great. Well, because, I mean, all over England, the show is popular. Man. Staple. Yeah. The British staple. Yeah. But apart from that, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank man. you for your time. Cheers. Good thank meeting you. you. MCM Comic Con, how are you, sir, tonight? I'm very good, thanks. I'm, Weathers... good. I'm a little bit chilly, but, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm putting a stiff upper lip on it. No, that's it, yeah. So, uh, what first tempted you to start writing? Uh, I was approached by the producer, Damien Jones, who yeah. said, would I write a think about writing a film yeah, okay. of it and I said no you're nuts it's been done it's been done brilliantly there's nothing to do um, went away started looking at the characters again and loved them always have loved them seen it you know I've seen it ever since I was a kid and like we all have had a great affection for them and so the movie came out of that really I started through the characters I found the story and then Oliver came on to direct 
so, um, so both of you, what is your favourite character in the movie? Oh, depends on the day. You have a different day. category each. Uh, there are seven characters in the platoon, and there are seven days. Seven days, so yeah. one for each day. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 like, that's a good answer. I'm going to do yeah, that one. It's all yours. <laughs> Apart from that, you had quite fun filming this. And Enormous fun. No, it was. A, I think there was a kind of wave of affection for the whole project, which which uh, carried us through it. You know, and I think everybody from the great cast we have was a. To Michael Gambon and and Tom Courtney, they all kind of bought into the, uh, the goodwill. You know, there's a lot yeah. of goodwill. Good. So how how was Yorkshire filming in Yorkshire? Horizontal rain. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, lovely. In the, yeah. the, wreck, the recce, <laughs> certainly. Stuff. Yeah. There, were, there were hurricane winds on the recce, and I was yeah. thinking, how the hell are we going to shoot anything here? But yeah. when the camera turned over, the gods turned on our side, yeah. and suddenly we had cold but yeah. clear skies. You know. And working with Catherine. She's nightmare, fantastic. absolute nightmare. <laughs> well, nice to him, but yeah. no, 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 she was fantastic. She's fantastic. amazing, completely one I of the one of the platoon. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and she was the, wonderful. The, the really clever thing in a comedy like that, when you've got a lot of strong comedy performances around you, is knowing when to leave it alone. And yeah, she, that's it. yeah. She, she knew. knew where it was all the time. Yeah. I thought she was a class. She judged actor. it beautifully. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for that. Pleasure. Have, Have a good guys. evening. All Pleasure meeting you. Take care. Thank you very Bye much, Angie. And the boys, have they behaved themselves and look after you? They were naughty, <laughs> flirting with me, and I loved every minute. I loved it. Yes, I play a journalist, Rose Winters, who's doing an article on the Home Guard um, for some lady magazine or something of that, that nature. And uh, she, she goes on to into Warminton on Sea and really creates havoc. So. I had to swim in the sea, yeah. Yeah. yeah I'd only really do it for the British, I wouldn't do it for the Americans, so no. put it that way. No, I really wouldn't. No. no. It's the same as Mumbles Bay, I know. Yeah, it's like going it's like it's childhood memories, you know. Look at my dress. Oh, it's <laughs> Um, but in the family seen it now? Uh, seen the film yet? Yeah, my son's seen it and my husband's seen it, but we saw it all together, so I'm, I'm looking forward tonight to seeing it with an audience. And then, guys, that's it from the Dad's Army premiere. The film comes out on February the 5th. Make sure you go and see it. Thank you very much from us and from Leicester Square. Don't panic! Who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? If you think we're on the road. Run.